So we're going to do a cross join just so you can get a feel for what a cross join is. Uh, but basically what it does is it creates a table or a grid and it combines the results of two or more tables or the rows of two or more tables. So we're going to come down here and we'll enter task 10 and let's move our closing comment. And for this one, we're going to be pulling in columns from departments and employees. And we're going to be using the employees database, or the examples, excuse me. And so let's go ahead and key in our select. Uh, we want department number, department name, employee ID, and last name. And department number needs to come from departments. So we'll go ahead and prefix the table name. And I don't think the rest need a prefix because they are unique. And then we'll say from. So table one is departments. And we are going to be cross joining this with employees. Now we do not have a where clause in this. So basically it's going to take the number of rows in table one and multiply them by the number of rows in table two, which can result in a very large table. <laughs> um, if you include a where clause, you're basically coding the equivalent of an inner join. So we are going to sort this. And we're going to run it. I don't think either of these has that many records, but you do need to be careful with the cross join because if your tables had thousands of records, this could take a while to generate this combined table. So you'll notice that it's showing the different employees in each department. And we just don't have that much data in this. Now, if we were to add a where clause, it would be uh, filtering the data, which would be the equivalent of an inner join. We're just going to leave it as is. And we'll go ahead and move that closing comment. And then we will save our changes. And at this point, you are ready to upload this to the Dropbox and turn it in.